gonna make this short film to let people know the differences and uh, also how these mark switchers work and uh, got a few friends that are just entering the hobby and really have no idea what these are and now you can really see that this K-Line shell, which is fitting on this Marx 1998, is an exact mold, plastic mold and replica of the 1998. Everything's the same, with the exception is K-Line gave you a bell to add, and I added the bell and painted it and uh, made it copper. And when you uh, got your K-Line um, switchers, you got the horn and the bell uh, separate in a little bag so you didn't break them off. Where Mark's never had a bell on them and the horn was always attached. But uh, I think that was a good idea from K-Line to let you glue them on, decide whether you want to use them or not. And you notice the uh, headline on the K-Line is the bezel is inside the shell and on the marks it's on the outside and these are both 1998s of course with a more modern K-Line shell but I took a um, maroon Santa Fe shell off this uh, drivetrain simply because I really like Western Pacific and I really like the way they look with the silver and the black and the orange. I thought it looked a lot sharper than the uh, marks. And this over here is the little uh, 112 Lehigh Valley. I'm going to turn these upside down so you can see something that I think is totally terrific that marks did. Is they just took a regular double reduction motor and added these trucks and these two plastic wheels up front. Uh, I'm going to interrupt. You notice this is a uh, Lionel uh, coupler. Since I only have Lionel plastic cars on the front and the rear, and I simply use the little silicone to glue it onto the top of this uh, Marks coupler so I could remove it at any time and, and not ruin the value but here's how they steered you've got a regular this is the same motor as you would have had in the 666 or the 1666 you can see all the extra gears which means it's double reduction it's low gear low gear it can really pull its weight and you'll see the same thing back here where it swings freely and I'm gonna flip this back over and so everybody doesn't think I'm actually running a uh, K-line I'll flip this over and you can see it's exactly the same thing it's a double reduction motor and you'll see the original uh, Marx coupler on front I haven't got around to put a uh, Lionel on it yet if I had the Marx cars I would have left the Marx couplers intact and you can see how this these extra wheels swing freely. I think this was absolutely a brilliant idea by Marx. Uh, you've got all this weight and the center of gravity in the middle of the engine, unlike Lionel, who put it on the back and then put their little uh, their little solenoid for reversing up in the middle and then they got cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and the motors got smaller and smaller and they pulled less and less and I'll put this sideways so you can get a good look probably didn't get to see it on the movie very good check the camera to see if you can see it in the camera but this is one sharp looking shell really nice this WP shell it's 227 Pardon me, 2327, made by K Line. And I, uh, somebody put them online for Buy It Now, and I've been 
was looking for a WP shell to put on my uh, uh, marks. I was hoping I'd get a one with burnout motor, and somebody sold four different shells, one WP, uh, two WPs, and two Great Northerns. I don't I have no idea how they picked up all these shells from K-Line. Maybe they worked there and put them in their lunchbox, but uh, I bought them all and sold the other three, kept this one, and then stalled right onto the frame, and uh, actually recovered my cost and more. Now we get a little cheaper with this uh, 112 Lehigh Valley. Very nice looking little uh, loco and uh, but you look underneath and you'll see this little tiny motor it doesn't reverse there's no headlight but it runs great it was a terrific kids toy uh, these usually came with tab and slot couplers and they also came with uh, uh, plastic knuckle couplers but they were static and non-operating so really like this little engine it's cool i would have loved to have had one as a kid if i'd wrecked it i certainly wouldn't have uh, uh broke the bank on it and i'm going to show you guys something else make sure the camera's centered uh later in the life of these smaller engines um uh, mark started cheaping them and I don't know for what reason they put a, a DC CAN motor in them. And I happen to have an extra one. And uh, you can, what's nice about this is if I find some old tin uh, uh, toy uh, trolley or whatever, this will fit right in. And uh, I just go to Radio Shack and get a rectifier and it'll turn the DC into an AC motor and you can see the uh, knuckle coupler here so and if I line this up you'll see how it fit right inside this little 112 they made a rock island they made a whole bunch of them. these smaller uh, switchers I uh, can't remember all of them uh, one of the mo one of the nicest of the larger 1998s is the Rock Island and uh, you'll pay for the nose for it and it also came with a dummy unit but it's just the same as the Santa Fe just with a, a different paint job and really sharp looking on this uh, Western Pacific I decided to really fancy it up and painted the front handrail silver painted the truck silver and painted the rear handrail silver and I'm not sure the camera will show it but right here on this truck there's an LM that I did not notice that these trucks were black and when I painted them silver the LM stood out and I realized that was Louis Marx so I thought that was really cool I'd never known that before so this is all I know about these and I love them I've gotten rid of two line L's because they were uh, underpowered and one of them I sh simply sold the shell and uh, because the motor shorted out a little warm gear and the Lionels from the 50s were fantastic. They really had, they really made a heck of a switcher. And then come uh, 1960s, they got really cheap. So, once again, uh, Mark's rules, unless you've got a 1950 Lionel, and then I put them both together. They even had magnet traction. So, they may have been better. I don't know. I've never owned one. I've only owned these... Uh, these marks and I absolutely love them I think they're fantastic little 
little locomotive. So thanks for watching and hope you've learned something if you didn't know it already. And let's see if I can do a close up on the camera about turning it off. There's that K line mark shell. There's the little DC motor. And there's the black 1998 marks, which is almost original except for my adding the uh, little line L couplers. And here is the, let me put the 112 out in front. You get a better look at that. And it's it's a toy. Of course, these are all toys, but 112 is more of a toy than the 1998. But I found this to be very dependable. So I like it. I enjoy it. And it hardly costs me anything. Uh, these marks will cost a lot less than the uh, Lionel's. And they'll run a lot better. So that's my personal opinion from trial and error. Okay, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.